Hello everyone, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 and this is a Let's Play uh, EU4 Nepal Edition Part 28. Last time, I don't really know what we did last time. Apparently it involved us declaring war on Malwa. I don't remember why we declared war on Malwa because I haven't played this game in like three weeks or recorded it in three weeks. So, um, I'm a little lost. I don't exactly know why we're fighting Malwa. I guess we're just fighting them for the sake of fighting Malwa, which, I mean, do you ever need any other reason than that? Um, I thought about rewatching the last video to try and figure it out, but I decided I was going to go ahead and start recording, because I have semi-limited recording time, and I really do need to record. I've been slacking a lot. Why are we losing so much money? Holy shit, 11 ducats a lot. Um, oh, we're really over force limit. We're really over force limit. Why the hell did I build this army if I'm over force limit? Okay. Oh, one second. Oh, I've just learned that I have even less recording time than I uh, actually thought I did. So let's go ahead and get this video underway. So we have these guys. They're coming to join us. Um, we don't have like any mercs, right? No. Why did I build an army? What is wrong with me? Um, let's raise war taxes at least so we're not just losing all of our money. Because I'm having to re-familiarize myself with this game because it has, has not no play in a very long time. Okay, I'm going to make the tactical decision to mothball these forts as well. But, we're, yeah, okay, so our army's down here. You guys have done the thing. Can we afford more generals? We can. What's the mill tech situation? That is a very important tech. Can we get one from our states? We can. It would put us dangerously close to a disaster, but I like to live on the edge. Wait, did I click the right button? It didn't go up any. That is like a visual bug? Back with the right guy. It only went up 5% instead of the 20 that it's supposed to, but I ain't complaining. So, let's get underway. So, like I said, I haven't played this game. I haven't really been much recording at all because, well, I had a huge backlog from the holidays uh, when I recorded a ton of videos, and then I also have uh, fallen into a slight addiction. Wait, whoa, what just happened? Oh, Steam is trying to update. Go away, Steam. It, like, alt-tabbed me out, and I was like, oh god, what is going wrong? Um, because I've fallen into a slight horrible... Okay, Steam, seriously, I can't update right now. Go away, close. No, that doesn't mean close Steam. That means close your stupid update. Oh, my... How does Steam update so often, and nothing ever actually changes? It's kind of impressive. I mean, I assume they're important to a degree, but... You know, you don't have to pester me so damn much about them. We already have 15%. Oh, that's because Ponj Ponj Punjab. They, oh, they have no forts. They have no forts. Because their only fort has been captured by particularists. Oh, wow. Honestly, Bahamanis could have probably won. Oh, no! Bahamanis, you evil people. You stole my thing. And that doesn't really matter. I think we're just doing this to give land to Punjab. We don't want it ourselves, right? Because I know we were running into problems with admin points. Yeah, we're pretty far behind. Well, I, God, how are we so far behind on dip? Oh, yeah, because we're filling out trade. That's what it is. But still, like for the longest time, I do remember dip was the one idea we were like ahead in. How strong are we in comparison to the rest of the world? God, the Ottomans are... How did they get so strong? We were neck and neck with them. At least in development, I mean... They still had a good deal more punching power. So how long... Since this is small one war is basically one... Is there any reason... I'm not attacking Bohemia? Isn't it because they're going to kick my ass? Aren't they really strong? They're pretty strong. 
God, they have they have no manpower at least, but they do have a huge force limit. And we're in the unenviable situation of being po as fuck. Yeah, we wanted this Multani land, that's what it is. That was another thing. We can go ahead and actually get you out of this war. But I want to give all that land to... Actually, no, 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 we should take it ourselves and then grant it to Punjab. No, 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 for, for this stuff, we'll grant, we'll give it to Punjab officially, and then we'll grant the all land to them. Or at least do I want to do that, because it might overextend. Well, honestly, how much money can I get out of you? Not that much. It's not really worth going for. I wouldn't mind war reps. So we'll roll with that. It'll just take like another month or so for them to decide that they can't beat us. Trade efficiency. Nice. Oh, Russia has left the coalition. Why was everybody joining a coalition? Maybe that's why we attacked Malwa, so they wouldn't join a coalition against us. We don't, yeah, we don't really have to care about aggressive expansion very much anymore. Um, I can't think of anything else we want. And then uh, that means they can go ahead and start coring that stuff. It's their culture, so they should core it pretty quickly. I mean, maybe Bahamanis will give this to us. I highly doubt it, but it's, it's technically possible. Oh, well, they actually did give it to us. Wow. Okay. So that'll at least make Punjab's borders look better. Do we want any land? I mean, I wouldn't mind these provinces just to create a connection between our land and to make our borders look slightly better. And then Delhi. Actually, no, no, no. I'd rather take money. Because we are po. We are very po. Now, would I rather. I'd rather just have the 500 approximate or 400 extra ducats up front than war reps from a nation that's pretty much going to probably be continually eaten and not going to have very much income in the future. Um. Well, this war was. I mean, I didn't think it was going to be. Wait, wait, what? We only got 147 of it. How does Bahamanis have 82% of the participation? I guess because they got to do the only siege. Everything else didn't really, because they got to just sit there and get siege points. Because that's their only fort anymore. Well, okay, we definitely don't want to do that. Then. We want war reps. That does kind of suck, because I did want to get some cash out of here. We could keep that for ourselves. And then maybe give that to, uh... So we'll get seven ducats out of this war. Nice. People will be mad, but I think we're fine. Okay. Time to... Oh, you have debt. Well, we're just gonna pretend we didn't see that. Wait, no, which which of these provinces? Okay, so Panipot. Go to them. We'll grant them Bahatatania. And Shekar Shekar Shekamir Shekar Shinong. And that's not an awful amount of more than we definitely uh lower maintenance. And then I guess we should fight Bohemia. The only thing about fighting Bohemia is that we have to get Brandenburg in, right? Because we want to give them this province. Because what I've decided is there's basically no way for us to uh, get the achievement anymore because we can't. Prussia will never form because they will not turn Protestant. The only way would be to. Uh, become Protestant ourselves, and then we'd have to beat up Brandenburg enough to make them small enough that then we could force our religion upon them, and then we'd have to 
give them all the profit. It would be very convoluted and it would extend this LP by a lot. But what instead what we'll do is what we'll consider a victory condition is you want to give Gadance to Brandenburg. Honestly, can we just sell? I think we could just get the province and sell it to them, right? Maybe that's what we'll do instead. Because this is the best time to fight. Because they are the Holy Roman Emperor right now. Granted, they're going to be it again if it were to... Because I know it was switching back and forth between Brandenburg. But unfortunately, Brandenburg actually loves Bohemia. It's a, a novel amount of Bohemian opinion of Brandenburg. Yo, you desire all those provinces. Why are you friends? Can't you understand that... Now, I bet if we were to uh, rival Bohemia, that would break their own. They would maybe not like each other anymore. So they're not allied, at least. But... <clears throat> I think what we're going to do... Well, first things first. I'm going to mothball these forts. And we're going to send everyone... Malwa. Oh god, what is this? Why are you fighting Russia? Why are you fighting Russia? Can we not fight Russia? Is that an option? Uh, oh my god, look at all these nations we can rival. Okay, we don't want to rival Bing. Um, Bohemia is there. Go ahead and rival them. We definitely want to start improving our relations, and we're going to want to, uh, all this sports we just small fall. Hey, uh, activate them. And we're paying our troops again. We'll at least wait until the first tick of the month to get some morale back, so we don't, like, lose instantly. And... Yeah, we still need the Ottomans. I don't really feel safe about the coalition we have without them, right? They're still the strongest nation in the world. I don't know why this defaults to army quality comparison. It's so dumb. Like, it should... It, yeah, that, I mean, that tab used to not exist. It's only been in the game for, I guess, about a year and a half. As of whatever the... What was that? Cradle of Civilization was the expansion? Yeah, they're still the strongest nation in the world. So, we kind of have to stick with them. But I just don't want to... Thankfully, they still have all level 2 ports. Oh, I forgot to uh, make claims. Not claims, but make uh, provinces of interest. Oh, wow, they actually white pieced out. I think it was because Transoxionia couldn't get to Malwa. Dude, look at Punjab. The lords of all things Punji. And Jabby. And you guys can go chill over there, I guess. How many troops do Punjab have? They just have the 15k. That's weird, because they used to have so many more. But I guess they have been in, like, kind of constant war, so maybe that's affected their economy. And apparently they're in debt somehow. I blame that on just the AI being bad at managing things. I think we just picked offensive just to pick it. I don't really want to prioritize it right now. Just because I couldn't really think of anything else that was... Oh, God, I hate so discontent so much. Where's Moscow? Wait, that's not their capital anymore? Oh, is it St. Petersburg now? So... Um, Sack of Vilna. Um... Do we even have army professionalism? We actually have a decent bit. Not anymore, we don't. We need the money. Because oh, yeah, I think we built that army because we, we had manpower to spare. But I guess we're just going to have to accept that we actually have men for once. Granted, we'll probably lose a lot in this war, so that'll make up for it somewhat. Um, Great Britain, sure, whatever. Well, I'm not, <laughs> don't wish your loans burnt. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, apparently Russia tried to attack us. 
Spoiler alert, apparently it didn't go well. Oh my god, why does Transaxionia have 60,000 troops? How does this support 60,000 troops? What? Did they go to quantity, maybe? Okay, they went quantity. I guess. I still just don't see how they can afford that. Because, I mean, they're only... They only have 300 development. That's not that much. I mean, let's look at Wallachia for comparison. Wallachia has 3,000 men. <laughs> okay. Um, they probably just got wiped by the Ottomans, I would assume. Is what happened to their army. Well, we're fighting Theodoro? Oh. Wait, Theodora's 40... Oh, no, that's Russia. It's like, how the hell do they have 40,000 men? I mean, you know, that's a pretty big Theodora, but it's not that big of a Theodora. Okay, this is kind of bad. We definitely need Russia out of this war. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Well, there were 16,000 Russians. They have since disappeared into the ether. Absolutely. Fuck them up, Afghanistan. Okay, we should be able to catch these guys and wipe them before they make it here. They will fight us in the hills, and it's not exactly our best general. Okay, we can't escape. Just... Who just died? Who just lost their general? St. Petersburg? Thing we should probably do is since I'm not entirely confident in my abilities of playing this game right now because like I said it's been about three weeks because I don't know if I ever actually finished this thought but I've been playing a lot of Warframe uh, I got into that game recently and it has its fucking claws in me and I it won't let go I have a yeah because I played that game two different times previously like when it first came out like in like 2013 or something Maybe even earlier than that. Like, the very first, like, public edition. I played some of it. And I played it maybe, like, three hours. And it was it was okay. That was kind of, like, my opinion at the time. It was just an okay game. Um, and then it had, had many, many updates. And then I guess a little bit about two years ago, I came back and played a little bit more. Probably all around close to, like, ten hours of it. And I enjoyed it, but I just couldn't 100% get into it. But then, I guess about uh, three weeks ago, like just over, actually I think it's like three weeks today, I played a little bit of it, and a little bit turned into a lot of bit, and that's like all I've been doing, like, gaming-wise for the past three weeks is just playing that, and it's, like I said, it's got its fucking claws in me and won't let go. Russia, please get out of this war. That should hurt Theodora's war enthusiasm, losing their army like that. Also, um, somebody should go over there. You know what, you can actually just kind of chill in Punjab, prevent them from getting destroyed, and you guys can go over there. Because the Ottomans are wasting their time in Wallachia. Which is actually going to be kind of annoying, because they're going to want all this land, so they're going to be like, We have to fully occupy Russia! And it's like, but I don't want to fully occupy Russia, you see. Who's our king? Oh yeah, I forgot, we went States General. And Status are in power, so that means we can get a new one soon. In like a, a year, basically. No, not me. We don't need, you know, Bohemia... How does Bahamanis like us? Well, I guess the Ottomans, they can always love us more. So our manpower has drastically decreased. Because, I mean, we are taking massive amount. Well, we have a good bit of minus attrition. I mean, we take 5% less attrition everywhere, which is nice. 
I mean, 50%. If it was 5%, that maybe wouldn't be very much worth talking about, but... At 50%. Punjab, would you please DC your provinces? Is that is that a thing you can do? We don't have a attach on, do we? No. Punjab, please. Don't just sit there and give me extra attrition. Thank you for leaving. So I'm being horribly inefficient here, but like. I just, I don't care about this war, or my men, which I really should, uh, don't really care. I'm not losing a thousand ducats. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not going into debt. Debt is for the weak. Not really, I mean, debt is, you know, it's a very viable, and it's the most effective strategy is going into tons of debt. Um, maybe not necessarily tons, but using loans to punch above your weight classes, you know, that's, that's how good people play the game. I don't do it because I don't really like taking loans. I feel they're very gamey, um, the way it works. I mean, I guess, I mean, you know, it's kind of like real life. You can just take massive, like, countries can. Maybe not, like, you know, people in general, but you can have... We have 12 for... Oh, yeah, because we have all these stupid forts, and they charge you money for them. And I don't feel like mothballing them because I don't trust myself to defend them properly. Can you please win the siege so I can go over to Kazan? Thank you. Um. Okay. Well, they they left anyway. Um. I don't really want to lose trade efficiency because we're already super poor because we're over our force limit. Can I peace out of this war? I can. We actually have some trust with the Ottomans. So when can we just get a if we can get Russia out of this. Really if we can take Kaffa, which we should actually do right now. So we can start getting that because we're we're getting like minus probably ten or something from uh I really don't care about India anymore. All I care about is Europe. And our tendril heart tickling tendr tendril Russia please get out of the war you're you're at war with Denmark and Sweden now you have to you're legally obligated to fuck off now this is a... I maybe shouldn't be splitting my troops like this but we kind of have to at this point. Um, so what do we get? We get status, and he's a 2-5 or 4 monarchists, and that doesn't quite put the monarchists in control, but you know what will put the monarchists in control? Immediately getting the event that puts the monarchists in control, so nice. Oh, he's kind. See, this is when, um, and he's 18 years old. This is one of those times where we definitely want our discipline because we're about to do our final war with Bohemia, which will basically again be our, our final boss. Unfortunately, it's not really the best final boss. Um, Theodoro, get out of my war, please. Transoxionia is weighing us down a lot, though. Okay, we do need to give this to the Ottomans so that they'll end this war. You know, in a perfect world, they'll just instantly peace out with that. I got that pop-up, and I thought they had peaced out, and I felt really good for a few seconds. Um, is this a good general? It's not the best. 
and they have amazing generals. Because, you know, even though we have 91 army tradition, do these... I mean, we have one actual 90 tradition army general. Everyone else is garbage. Please, end this war. Yeah, I'm done with this. Um, what land do we want to... Is there any land in particular we want? Not really. Really can you just give me money? Yeah, we'll get it all. And then maybe... Possum up prop? Yeah, I, I don't want to be in this anymore. The Ottomans can handle it. It'll piss them off, but I don't care at this point. Operation, let's go fight Bohemia before they ally France again. Because I kind of just now actually remember in the middle of saying that, that, oh yeah, they were allied to France, and they love each other, and they may have already been allied. Yeah, they have not. The also, holy shit, Bohemia is huge. Um, yeah, like, they love each other. Um, it's, like, to the point that, like, I should probably fight them, like, right this fucking second. Um, we're never gonna be able to get the Brandenburg in. Ming and Bahamanas will obviously not join, because minus 800 for Distant War, and probably, like, minus 800 for this exactly 800 for Distant War. <sighs> So it's, they have more manpower than us, they have slightly less troops, they probably have a better economy. They went offensive, so they don't have as good troops as us. They have pretty, uh, and the hostile corporation is going to be very annoyed. Oh, you know what we should have done, is we should have taken the coastal province. Because that means if we want to get Gdansk, no, we gotta fight Commonwealth first. Because otherwise we'd have to take this, 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 this. Actually, no. We'd have to take this province, this province, this province. And I think that's actually more than 100% war score, so we have to fight the Commonwealth first. So let's just kind of reorganize our troops. And while we're reorganizing them, of course we quit paying them, because who pays their troops? We'll get some money back once we quit having so much corruption. Well, granted, really, the overextension is it's the too many territories penalty is fucking murdering us. And the thing that's so annoying is that we're not even big. It's just because of the way we had to play this campaign, we have lots of different territories. That's one of the myriad problems with territorial corruption. I mean, there's so many. I mean, there's literal, like, you know, dozens upon dozens of threads and, like, forms and stuff about how the territorial corruption is bad. But, you know, the devs have pretty much decided that they're never going to do anything about it, and people who think it's bad should quit whining. Now, they haven't exactly said that, but, um, they, I remember... I guess it was maybe at the end of December they did this big dev vlog or dev diary where and the whole point of it was like to talk about transparency and taking in community feedback better and then listed one of the biggest major complaints the last patch has had or this patch uh, has had which is territorial corruption and then said we're not going to do anything about it and so it was quite ironic you know to try and do this sincere thing about how we're going to listen to the community more and then go ahead and say one of the biggest complaints is we're not even actually going to explain why we think it's good. We're just going to say we're not going to do anything about it. You know, it was kind of infuriating. Oh, okay, so there. See, it's just we're over. We didn't spend so much money on our being over force limit because that's cost us like an extra ten when we're at full maintenance. Oh, Ming wanted access from us. Let's offer it, since they're going to be kind of mad at us, but at least we'll get the plus 10 from having offered it. So why are you fighting? 
Oh, Spain is attacking one of their tributaries. Why does Spain think they're hot shit? Then? Oh, because they are hot shit. Where did they get all those troops? Now, you know, whether or not Spain is going to be able to properly coordinate a naval attack on Ning is, you know, we have to maybe wonder about whether that's going to happen or not, but... Okay, let's start paying our troops again. God, look at that inflation. That's what happens when you completely rely on gold for, like, you know a hundred years and then don't realize you have a gold mine until like 50 years ago because I completely forgot we developed that thing. Um, why can I not get a good general? What did I do to deserve this? You get there, stack wipe the commonwealth, goodbye commonwealth, it was nice knowing you, you had a good run. I hate to see such a big and beautiful commonwealth die like this, but it's just what has to happen. Oh, they have more troops. Um, don't, don't, just, 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 come on, you can do this. No, wait, you guys, just these three, just these three, is this, there we go, okay, drop you guys, go catch them, where's our other troops, way down here, where's our other stack, oh, there they are, Okay, Bohemia has sabotaged our reputation. And I guess we'll take that one just to E that will allow Bohemia to join a coalition against us, which is scary, but everyone who all the other major coalition members already have a truce with us, so I'm not really too worried about it. Why can't these be Protestant fucking rebels? Why did you go humanist? I would have rather you just gone religious and completely evaporated any hope I had of you turning Protestant. Nice, we got some prestige. I think we already had like 90 prestige, so. What are our policies? Because we don't. Oh no, we still have the. The world's worst policy. All that extra prestige decay. Oh boy. It's so. God awful. How are we not at 100%? Do they have more land? Oh yeah, Bosnia is in this war. Not the first time that somebody's forgotten Bosnia existed. <laughs> I don't really know what the point of that joke was, but um... Yeah, give me money. Goodbye. Let's go ahead and tech on up to the other side, quit paying our troops, and make a few of them claims. And then we might have to end the video here, and this is where I look at OBS and it has not been recorded by Mike the whole time. Okay, it actually has. And we're at a great place to stop, right at about 35 minutes. Uh, what we will do is we'll try and get all the boys back together again. possible. I have no clue how these troops were set up right. Bohemia has entered into a military coalition against us. Uh, I saw that coming, but... So I think you guys... Plus... You guys? 
this mega stack. Oh, wait, you have two too many infantry and one too many cannons. So this should make a stack. Fortunately, Bengal is in a military coalition against us. Heswani? I mean, isn't that... Oh, it's these guys. You dare insult me? Sir, you are not even in a coalition. All you have is Khmer. I do not fear Khmer anymore. You have become more powerful than you can ever imagine. Yes, I want my useless merchant that I can't actually take advantage of because it took us so long to get a sea province that we weren't actually able to expand it into China like I wanted to. Of course I want this! Now, literally, there's nothing I can do with this merchant, but... I mean, we can send someone there. It'll give us extra trade power. Just, just having a merchant, and it'll give us a bonus to our overall trade power here. And we go from uh, 772 to 812, and we make like two extra ducats. Yay. But, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and cut it off here and quit taking so much attrition from those Russian troops. Next video, we will most likely. Most likely, I mean, it's just not again. The only really annoying one there, Bahamanis will actually join them because of that. Since uh, Bengal and them are in the war, they removed the distant war penalty. Interesting. Um, and one thing we could also do now, because you can't piece people out in a separate in a coalition war, so that could have actually been good if they were allied to France but since they're still not allied to France we'll probably do um, we'll maybe wait a tiny bit get all of our manpower back get all our troops in order and then we will fight Bohemia as our final boss fight kind of semi-final boss fight because basically what we're going to do is maybe we'll actually be able to end this right at Port Verde which would be a nice stopping point but what we're going to do at this point is fight Bohemia get this province we're going to try and then sell it to Prussia, hopefully, and they'll buy it from us, because, I mean, they should want it. It's their culture, it's their religion. Um, I guess, is Prussian? It's an it's the same culture group, it's not actually their primary culture, though, since they're technically Saxon. Um, give it to that, and then we'll basically just fight Brandenburg, and then do what the achievement says to do, I mean, we won't actually get it because it has to be Prussia. It can't be Brandenburg, which is really dumb. It makes the achievement needlessly difficult to get, but uh, yeah, um, I'm going to quit rambling maybe, and uh, in the video here, I'm XQZ87, stay tuned for the next part, and bye guys.